Now I want to show you how you can add some secrets. If you want to do something specific with secrets uh, with your code space and you want to inject those and to be available to you when you're running a code space, um, the, what you need to do is uh, similar to when you're uh, adding secrets to a GitHub action, you go to settings right here, click there, scroll all the way down to, uh, to the security uh, section, which is right here on the left and find the secrets one. Uh, and then secrets will allow you to uh, do all kinds of uh, different things at, at secrets there, but you're going to get a drop down. So I'm going to click there and you have three options, actions, code spaces, and dependabot. So usually you would go for actions if you're trying to do some automation and building some GitHub actions. But, um, in, in this case, we want to do code spaces. I'm going to click there. There are no secrets for this repository. I'm going to click a new repository secret. So I'm going to say, uh, Alfredo secret, uh, token. And I'm going to say uh, special password. So what is going on here? Uh, this Alfredo secret token uh, is going to be available within the code space as, a, as an environment variable. So that environment variable is going to be accessible to me. And this secret is going to only be uh, available to me uh, outside of the code space uh, right now. Once I add that secret and I click here in the green button, that is no longer, I, I only have two options. Either I can update that or remove it. So uh, that's it. Uh, next, what we want to do is to launch that um, uh, code space. So I'm going to open this in a new tab, go here, click code, code spaces, and I am going to uh, create a new code space um, on main and uh, wait until that completes. Okay, so that completed, my uh, code space has loaded. I'm gonna go back here to the secrets and you can see that uh, Alfredo underscore secret token, that's what we want. So I'm gonna go back to here. I'm going to say I'm on the terminal and in, this is a, a, a Linux operating system and the way you check on environment variables is with uh, env and it gives you all of the environment uh, variables. Now, word of caution, this environment variable is not encrypted. So this environment variable is available to you, but if you do what I just did there, which is uh, typing env and then uh, return, what's going to happen is that you're gonna have uh, that uh, secret exposed there. So if you're doing something like a demo or using that secret for something else, then uh, be aware that you might get into trouble. So I'm gonna do some, some Linux uh, commands here. I'm gonna make this a little bit better so that uh, uh, we can we can have uh, we can see better what I'm doing here. So and I'm gonna grab for Alfredo, and you can see here that Alfredo underscore secret token uh, is a special password. So I mean don't do this if it's a a, a secret token unless you only you is um, has access to this and only there's no one else uh, watching what you're doing and uh, you would use it as any other any other uh, environment variable. So in, in Linux, uh, in the shell, you would do something like uh, like that. Uh, there we go, secret token, uh, autocomplete, do it like that's how you would reference. So if you have to connect and you say, you know, some, some, some command here and you say uh, secret, you would do, instead of like pasting the secret, the actual secret you would do, you would do that. And that is how you add a secret to a, a code space and make it available. So again, word of caution, it's in plain text. So watch out for um, not exposing it um, unless unless it's just you, uh, like in this case, trying it out and seeing how that works.